Hi everyone, welcome back to Besame. Today is the beginning of Black History Month, aka African Heritage Month. Yay! And I am going to be sticking with this book that I read The Wooden Horse from, stories from nowadays and long ago. But I will be reading you a story about John Henry. <laughs> John Henry. In America, there are many songs about John Henry. John Henry was a black strongman and a hero in days long ago. He took great pride in his work and made up many working songs which are still used in America. He died working. John Henry began life as a slave. He was tall and big and strong. He was very good at all kinds of work. When John Henry was a boy, the slaves were set free. He left the farm and started traveling through the country. He was tired of the farm and wanted to do some other work. He did not know what. As he traveled, he did many different kinds of work. He looked so big and strong that people always wanted him to work for them. He could work from morning till night and not get tired. He took great pride in his work and whatever kind of work he did, he did it better than anyone else. He would say in his deep voice, I can do any job that I make up my mind to do. John Henry used to sing when he worked. He made up songs to go with the work that he was doing. He sang the songs in his big, deep voice. Other workers learned the songs and sang them with him. He made many friends as he traveled working and singing. One day, he met a pretty girl named Polly Ann. He fell in love with her and she fell in love with him. He took her for his wife and they traveled everywhere together. Although he had a wife, John Henry still could not stay in one place. He still traveled all about looking for a place that would suit him and work that would suit him. They went from place to place across America. One day, they came to West Virginia. The country was rich and green. Tall pine trees grew in the mountains. John Henry loved the place and so did Polly Ann. If I can find work to suit me, we can stay here, John Henry said. At this time, railways were being built all over the country. In West Virginia, they were putting down a new railway line. John Henry had never done this work before, but he said, this might be the work for me. They followed the line up into the hills. Green pine trees grew tall along the way. The line stopped just in front of a big mountain. Many people and railway cars were there. John Henry heard a new sound. A man was using a big hammer. He was hammering a steel drill into the side of the mountain. He was trying to hammer a hole into the hard red rock. John Henry watched and watched. This looked like work that would suit a strong man. We have to cut a tunnel through the mountain. We have to build the railway line right through it, the captain of the workmen said. That sounds like the work for me, John Henry said. I feel as if I could hammer that steel drill right through this old mountain. He looked so big and strong that the captain of the workmen took him on right away. Building that tunnel was hard work, but John Henry loved it. He liked using the heavy hammer and hearing it ring on the steel drill. He made up work songs and sang them to the music of the hammer. The other workmen sang along with him. Nowadays, tunnels are built by machines, but in those days, tunnels were built by men. It was slow, hard work. This tunnel was going to be over a mile long. They were building it through hard red rock. The men worked in twos. One man held the drill against the rock. The other man hit the drill with the hammer. They kept on doing this till they made a hole. When they had made three or four holes, they put dynamite into them. Then they put fire to the dynamite and blasted out big pieces of rock. Each time they drilled and blasted, the tunnel moved further into the mountain. It was hot inside the tunnel. It was dangerous also. 
the tunnel had big pine logs to hold up the walls, but sometimes walls would cave in all of a sudden. The air inside the tunnel was bad too. It was full of smoke from their lanterns and dust and bad underground air. It was a dangerous life, but John Henry loved it. This was work that suited a strong man. People said he could hammer steel for 10 hours without stopping. They said he could do the work of nine men. And as he worked, he sang. He made up many work songs that were full of pride in his work. Then one day, a man from the city came with a new machine. It was a steam drill. The man said it could do the work of nine men. The captain laughed. I have a man who can do that already. The man from the city laughed. I would like to see a man try to beat a machine, he said. I bet you no man can beat my steam drill. Then John Henry spoke. His strong, deep voice was full of pride. I'd like to race that machine, he said. A machine is nothing but a machine, and a man is nothing but a man. But before I let that steam drill beat me down, I'll die with my hammer in my hand. So John Henry and the steam drill were to race the next day. Pollyann was frightened. She knew that John Henry was strong, but this was a different thing. She thought it was dangerous and foolish for a man to race a machine. But John Henry's pride was hurt and he would not listen. Before I let that steam drill beat me down, I'll die with my hammer in my hand. On the morning of the race, people came from near and far to watch. All the workers and the people liked John Henry and they bet that he would beat the machine. Ready? Get set, go. The race was on. It was John Henry's hammer against the steam drill, a man against a machine. As he worked, he sang. There ain't no hammer on this old mountain Ring like mine, men, ring like mine. I'll drill this rock, men, right through this mountain, along the line, men, along the line. He hammered the drill as the sun went up into the sky. He hammered the drill as the sun went across the sky. And as the sun was going down, John Henry was still hammering the drill into the rock. And the steam drill was still drilling. When the sun went down at last, the captain stopped the race. He looked at the holes that John Henry had drilled. He looked at the holes the steam drill had drilled. Then he shouted, John Henry beat the machine. He drilled more holes and he drilled them deeper. Everybody clapped and shouted, but not John Henry. He had dropped to the ground. Pollyann was holding his head in her lap and crying. He spoke very low. I beat it, but I'm dead, he said. Then he sang very softly. Before I let that steam drill beat me down, I'll die with my hammer in my hand. And so, John Henry died with his hammer in his hand. They buried the hero where he died, under the tall pine trees beside the railway line. People in West Virginia say that on a quiet night, you can still hear the music of John Henry's hammer in the tunnel. Oh, they took John Henry to the burying ground and they buried him in the sand. And every railway train that comes rolling by says, there lies a steel driving man. There lies a steel driving man. The end. And that, my friends, is the story of John Henry. Please remember to click the thumbs up button below if you like the story and share it with your friends. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for now.